வெல்கம் டு சான் அகாடமி வெல்கம் பேக் சில்ட்ரன் திஸ் இஸ் கிளாஸ் செவன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் சாப்டர் டுவெண்ட்டி அண்ட் தென் சேம் திங் மென்சுரேஷன் பார்ட் த்ரீ ஸோ ஆஸ் ஐ டோல் யூ இந்த பார்ட் ஒன் அண்ட் பார்ட் டூ ஏரியா அண்ட் பெர்மீட்டர் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் ரோல் இன் தேட் ஆஃப் ஃபார் மெஷரிங் ஆல் த திங்ஸ் ஸோ லைக் தட் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ ஏரியா ஆஃப் ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் ஸோ ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் ஆஸ் யூ ஆல் நோ வட் இஸ் அ ட்ரையாங்கிள் ரைட் ஆஸ் யூ ஆல் நோ வட் இஸ் அ ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஸோ ட்ரையாங்கிள் மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ த்ரீ சைட்ஸ் அண்ட் அ த்ரீ ஆங்கிள்ஸ் ஸோ தட் ஒன்லி வி ஆர் சேயிங் விச் இஸ் ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஓகே அண்ட் ஹியர் ஹியர் த்ரீ டோட்டலி ஃபோர் ஃபார்முலாஸ் ஃபோர் ஃபார்முலாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அண்ட் தென் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபார்முலா இஸ் ஏரியா ஆஃப் அ ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஸோ ஐ ஹோப் யூ லேர்ன் த ஏரியா ஆஃப் ட்ரையாங்கிள் இன் கிரேட் சிக்ஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் பிகாஸ் இன் கிரேட் செவன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் இன் த டெப்த் ஆஃப் ட்ரையாங்கிள் பட் இன் கிரேட் சிக்ஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் யூ லேர்ன் ஏரியா ஆஃப் அ ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஏரியா ஆஃப் ரைட் ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஸோ த டூ ஃபார்முலாஸ் யூ லேர்ன் ஸோ அந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் டூ ஃபார்முலாஸ் ஐ வில் டீச் யூ so listen so first the first triangle first formula is area of a triangle so we know that the area of a triangle means so this is a base as i told you in the parallelogram so this is a base and the triangle is divided into two equal parts and the triangle is divided into two it is not a equal parts but the triangle is divided into half of the triangle so if the if the diagonal cuts into the triangle no so that will be we can say that is a height so this is a height and this is a base okay so we can say why we are writing here half means because the triangle is divided into two parts so which is 1 by 2 into 2 base and 2 height so 1 by 2 into base into height so the formula for area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height which is the formula can you please repeat the one second the formula area is equal to half into base into height which is the formula for area of triangle and coming to the next formula area of right triangle so right triangle means as we already know what is the measurement for right triangle it is a 90 degree isn't it 90 degree so the opposite will be hypotenuse so other sides will be a other two sides okay so here the c is a right angle triangle so we can say the area of the triangle is equal to so as you see here the area of the triangle is equal to half into product of its leg it, it is like it is same like a area of the triangle also why because so we uh, we cannot consider this ba the hypotenuse side we cannot consider the area of the right triangle means we can do the product of two legs means so which is the two legs means this is bc this is a one leg and this ca is a one leg so we can say this is a two legs so which is half into products of its legs we can say area of the right angle triangle formula is half into product of its legs square units okay let us coming to the next formula area of equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle so this is the formula for area of the equilateral triangle root of 3 by 4 into a square root of 3 by 4 into a square so why we are getting this root 3 by 4 into a square means so first of all the triangle is divided into two equal parts so one will be a by 2 so this side will be a and this side will be a and the base will be divided into two parts right so if you are dividing by two parts means which is a by 2 a by 2 okay we are writing half no so which is a by 2 one half base is a by 2 half base is a by 2 so a by 2 a by 2 now we are uh, doing the pythagoras theorem here why we are it is pythagoras means because the uh, diagonal is divided into equal parts so if you are dividing means it will be 90 degree and it will be 90 degree okay so first is so 90 degree means this, this will be a one side and this will be a one side this will be a hypotenuse so we can proceed the pythagoras theorem here and finding the formula which is area is equal to root 3 by 4 into a square so this is the formula for equilateral triangle and coming to the next last formula which is heron's formula heron's triangle and formula so heron's triangle the formula what is the speciality for the heron's triangle and formula means uh, so all sides will be equal okay i'm not saying all sides will be equal but if you are adding the perimeter of the triangle perimeter so which is semi perimeter semi perimeter so we can say the semi perimeter is a s s is equal to perimeter means we know all the boundary of the length so which is a b and c divided by 2 this is the formula for s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 this is the finding for semi perimeter and area area of heron's triangle area of heron's triangle is equal to root of s into s minus a s into s minus b and s minus c so the heron's formula you will learn 
deeply in class 9th and class 10th because see in heron's formula in 7th grade they have given only the outer part of the herons so they have not given any depth of the herons formula so in class 9th you can learn the depth of the herons formula okay clear children so first you just can uh, learn the formula which is semi perimeter semi perimeter s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 and the area of the herons triangle is equal to root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c so this is the formula for herons triangle and using this formula we are going to solve some examples just the next slide find the area of a triangle in which base is equal to 25 centimeter and height is equal to 14 centimeter so we know that the base is a 25 and height is a 14 so what is the formula for area of a triangle the formula for area of the triangle is half into base into height okay so half into for base we can substitute 25 and for height we can substitute 14 now we can cancel in a two table two ones are in a two table seven times it's a 14 so 7 into 25 is a 175 centimeter now we found the area of the triangle measurement is 175 centimeter i hope you clear in this problem it is coming to the next two problem find the area of an equilateral triangle each of whose sides is 10 centimeter we know that the formula for equilateral triangle also uh, the formula for equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 into a square okay so instead of root 3 instead of root 3 we can write that is 1.73 we can write that is 1.73 so area of the given triangle root 3 by 4 into a square so root 3 by 4 into a we can write that is a 10 centimeter so a square means a into a so 10 into 10 for root 3 1.73 into 100 by 4 why it is 100 means 10 10s are 100 so 100 by 4 okay so if you are multiplying this 1.73 into 100 means which will become 173 by 4 now we are cancelling in a 4 table we will get the answer 43.25 centimeter square now the area of the equilateral triangle is 43.25 centimeter square i hope you understood this for uh, this example also let us move to the heron's example yes the side of a triangular plot have length 20 feet okay so the side of a plot have length so length means we know that that's a base so that's a 20 feet and 34 feet and 42 feet okay so this is a 42 feet this is a 34 feet why we are giving this 40 42 to the this side means so the opposite is a hypotenuse so 42 feet and 34 feet now first find the semi perimeter of the triangle first of all we need to find the semi perimeter of the triangle so as i told you the formula which is the semi perimeter of the triangle is s is equal to 1 by 2 into a plus b plus c this is a formula s is equal to 1 by 2 so a b c we can substitute the value for 20 34 42 so 20 plus 34 plus 42 if you are adding means we will get the answer 96 in a two table if you are cancelling in a two table means we will get the answer 48 now we found the s value semi perimeter value we found this semi perimeter value we can substitute in the heron's formula so s is uh, uh, area is equal to the formula is root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c so this is the formula for instead of x we can substitute this 48 so 48 into 48 minus 20 48 minus 34 48 minus 42 if you are subtracting you will get the answer 48 into 28 14 6 okay we can multiply with 48 in 28 28 in 14 and 14 and 6 if you are multiplying the answer will be the root of 1 lakh 12896 if you are taken the root of uh, 1 lakh 12896 means the value will be 336 so the area of the garden plot is 336 feet square so i hope you understood the heron's formula also so thank you children so this uh, from this we can uh, we can complete at the mensuration chapter so thank you children i hope you you all understood the mensuration chapter like uh, area perimeter area of the square perimeter of the square area of the triangle area of the rectangle and then area of the uh, trapeze sorry rhombus area of the parallelogram area of the triangle area of the circle sorry area of the circle and then next um, next mensuration in this next mensuration chapter we can see area of the circle okay so only we left the area of the circle that we are completed means 
so all the mensuration chapter will get over okay so thank you children we can see in the next video in the area of the circle okay thank you